So you're looking at a brand new 4K 240Hz OLED, but you might be asking yourself the question, can I even run this monitor? And look, fellas, I have tested basically the entire RTX 50 series, and I'll just throw up a chart. I'll vomit a chart, in fact, right on your screen right now that, uh-oh, scary, huh? Even the RTX 5090 in a 10-game average allegedly can't reach 240 hertz on average, let alone on the 1% lows. For those of you out there looking for the absolute maximum stability in your games, does this mean that it's completely unachievable and buying a 4K 240 hertz OLED is a waste of money? Well, probably not because look, this is a very deceiving chart because as you might have read at the top, it's 4K ultra settings with yes, DLSS balance, but look, fellas, this is including games such as Black Myth, Wukong, and Cyberpunk 2077. Those games are intensely difficult to run. Let's be honest, there's gonna be probably many years that come by before you can actually run those games without frame generation and get 240 frames per second. And look, if you look at games like Counter-Strike 2, even when you're playing at 4K at very high settings, the RTX 5090 is getting 464 frames per second. And so can you run 4K 240 FPS? Well, it really depends on the game. You look at a game like Black Myth Wukong and look, the answer is gonna be no. You're gonna need frame generation to get even remotely close to 240 FPS even with an RTX 5090. But again, I wanna go back to Counter-Strike 2 because Honestly, for those of you who are looking to run 240 frames per second, you're asking, can I achieve it? You're probably wondering if you can achieve it in online games. And I do think games like Counter-Strike 2, Overwatch, etc., games that are much easier to run, are probably the games that you're wondering about. And if you look at this chart here, I mean, where is the cutoff where you reach 240 frames per second? Well, it's somewhere around a 4070 Ti Super and an RTX 4080 Super. And this is still at very high settings. You could reduce the settings even further. My experience has been in these multiplayer online games, if you have a 4090 or a 5090, you're definitely gonna be hitting, you know, a locked 225 frames per second in pretty much every single one of these games. Now, when does that become not true? Well, look, I think you could get away with something like an RTX 5080, and I even think you could get away with something like an RTX 5070 Ti. Now, the 5070, I think that's where it starts to become questionable, and similar GPUs to a 5070 might be something like an RTX 4070 Super, or maybe an RTX you know, 3080 Ti, 3090, et cetera, somewhere around that range of a graphics card. That's where, you know, getting a locked 225 FPS in all your online multiplayer games may become difficult. You may have to upscale from performance DLSS or upscaling from 1080p to 4K. Now look, in most games, especially with the new Transformer model for GPUs, that's actually gonna still look pretty good on a 4K monitor. It will, and if you're willing to drop down settings, sure, maybe something like a 5070 still can get the job done, but you have to be willing to make quite a few compromises. And then when you start getting below something like a 5070 class GPU from either Nvidia or AMD, that's where it starts to become, you know, probably something you can't achieve. So the question of can you run 4K 240 FPS in every game? No, not without frame generation at least. However, in multiplayer games, yeah, I would say like 5070 Ti and up Definitely. You might have to make some compromises depending on your GPU, but you can get it done. And on AAA slop, brand new games, well, let's be honest with the state of optimization, without frame generation, it's not happening. I mean, <laughs> you look at something like Cyberpunk 2077 and the 5090 with path tracing, mind you, and without frame generation, well, it's sitting at 79 FPS. So sure, you could 2X, 3X, or 4X that frame rate using frame generation, but a lot of people don't wanna do that. And look, those type of games, in my experience, I tend to run them somewhere between 100 and 144 frames per second. That's very acceptable to me but your opinion might differ. But now that you got that information, now that you know that, let's be honest, 
the type of fellas who are watching this video who probably already have a high-end graphics card can indeed run a 4K 240Hz monitor. Well, if you're interested in picking one up, I'll have links to not only some of the best options I've reviewed this year in the description below as affiliate links for your convenience and my benefit, but also I'll have some links to some of my reviews of these monitors in the description below as well to help you out with your purchasing decisions. And for everything else display related, make sure to get subscribed here on the Display Guy. And if you wanna create an unhealthy parasocial relationship with me, I'll have links to my Patreon in the description below, which helps out the channel directly and allows you to talk to me directly, whoa, in the Discord. Whether you're looking to connect a new console, gaming PC, or just need a fast and reliable HDMI cable to connect over long distances, RuPro has you covered with their certified 8K HDMI 2.1 fiber optic cable available in sizes up to 50 feet and can deliver a perfect full 48 gigabits per second connection over distances other cables could only dream of reaching. And now RuPro is offering a new detachable and upgradable pure fiber cable that sends the same 48 gigabits per second signal through its ultra thin and flexible housing, making it easier to route through walls. So if you're in the market for a cable that can drive a beautiful new TV or monitor, be sure to check out RuPro on Amazon today.